fans and fans feared may never go ahead. Only the late intervention from fans saved the club from being liquidated this week, and their cash has bought enough time for Darlington to play Fleetwood this afternoon. Programs, get your programs here. Come and get a picture of the heroes. Craig Little wasn't the only hero to ensure Darlington's fixture with Fleetwood Town went ahead. A team of stewards, medics, and burger bar staff all gave their services free in an effort to secure Darlington's existence as a football club. All my normal staff have all come back, um, or majority of them have, and we've got so many volunteers who also, you know, pledge their own time and even sit taking time off from their own jobs to come and help us out here. Earlier this week, the turnstiles opening at Darlington looked a remote prospect. But a last-minute £50,000 donation by a fans group handed the club a lifeline, giving hope to fans so many of whom turned out that the kickoff was put back to 3.15 to allow everyone access to the game. Well, all we can do is just keep going and uh, go to the 31st of January, keep battling on, and if we go down, we've gone down fighting at least. That's all I can say, to be honest, so we'll keep going in the end. We hope it's a new start. I mean, on Wednesday it was, uh, it was tears on the, on the couch, unfortunately, and then uh, we've got a last-minute reprieve. Uh, it's just nice to have a, a chance to come down and support the lads. A crowd of 5,638, almost three times Darlington's average this season, welcomed them out for the clash with promotion chasing Fleetwood Town. There was no sign of any charity though for Darlington from Fleetwood, who won the game with a goal a minute before half-time from Danny Rose. Despite the defeat, Darlington fans applauded their team at the final whistle, the players having demonstrated they have the fight to keep the club alive. The attendance was you know, 6,000, which is fantastic. Uh, we've been at this level, so you know we, we took the bits with that. Uh, the performance, you know, I can't argue with it. I thought the lads did everything they, they, we got, but we didn't get what we deserved in the end. Prior to kick-off, a brass band had entertained fans, but it will take an entirely different kind of brass to guarantee Darlington's footballing future. Though the money raised at today's game will assist the club to fulfil their remaining two fixtures this month, away at Hayes and Yeddy, and at home to York next Saturday. David Craig, Sky Sports. Now, David Price has earned himself a shot at title Fury's British title after becoming the new English heavyweight champion.